It is often helpful to think of an atom as consisting of a positive central nucleus with the negative electrons orbiting around in shells in a circular motion. However, this is now believed to be a rather simplistic model. Electrons are now believed to occupy orbitals. As we will see, there are different types of orbital which have different shapes. You need only to know the shapes of two orbitals, the s orbital and the p orbital for AS chemistry. The s orbital is spherical in shape and not, repeat not, circular. And each s orbital can accommodate up to two electrons with opposite spins. At any instance in time, an s electron is most probably located somewhere within this spherical region. P orbitals have a three-dimensional dumbbell shape, with the centre at the nucleus. There are three P orbitals. One lies across the x-axis, another runs at right angles to this across the y-axis. The third P orbital runs at right angles to these orbitals along the z-axis. Each P orbital can accommodate two electrons with opposite spins. There are therefore a maximum of 6 p electrons. It is convenient to represent orbitals using boxes and arrows to represent electrons. Let's look at how this can be done for oxygen, which has eight electrons. Two electrons in shell N equals one, that's the innermost shell, and six electrons in shell N equals two. The innermost shell, N equals one, is made up of only one S orbital. It can therefore accommodate a maximum of two electrons, providing the spins are opposite. We represent the spins of electrons with arrows. The next shell, n equals 2, is made up of a single s orbital and three p orbitals. When filling these orbitals, there are a few rules. Firstly, you fill the orbitals which have the lowest energy first. In this case, the 2s orbital is lower than the 3p orbitals. We therefore fill the 2s orbital with its maximum number of two electrons, making sure the spins are in opposite directions. We then start filling the 2p orbitals. Here is another rule. Electrons will occupy each orbital singly before pairing up. The first three electrons will therefore occupy separate orbitals. The fourth electron will pair up since there is no available empty orbital of this energy but the spin of this fourth electron will need to be in the opposite direction. We would write the electronic configuration of oxygen as 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. The 1s representing the 1s subshell, the 2 superscript representing the two electrons contained in the 1s subshell. The 2s representing the 2s subshell. The 2 superscript representing the two electrons contained in the 2s subshell. The 2p representing the 2p subshell. The 4 superscript representing the four electrons contained in the 2p subshell. The number of different types of orbital for each shell can be worked out from the shell number or the principal quantum number as it's also known. For a shell number of n equals 1, there is only one type of orbital, the s orbital. This orbital can accommodate a maximum of two electrons with opposite spins. 
So the maximum number of electrons that shall n equals 1 can accommodate is 2 electrons. The n equals 2 shell has two types of orbital, an s orbital and three p orbitals. Each of these orbitals can contain a maximum of two electrons. So a full n equals 2 shell contains a total of eight electrons. The n equals 3 shell has three types of orbital, s, p and d. A full n equals 3 shell therefore contains a total of 18 electrons. The n equals 4 shell has four types of orbital, s, p, d and f. A full n equals 4 shell contains a total of 32 electrons. You will notice that the number of orbitals within each subshell increases by 2 each time. When filling up orbitals with electrons, you need to be careful since there is overlap between some of the shells. If we look at the energy levels of shells n equals 1 to n equals 4 and how these are split into subshells, we see that the 4s subshell is lower in energy than the 3d subshell. This means that the 4s subshell will fill with electrons before the 3d subshell. Let's look at an example now, working out the electronic configuration of calcium, atomic number 20. This means we have 20 electrons to distribute. Let's draw out the subshells and orbitals in order of increasing energy. We have the 1s, the 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p and 4s subshells. Note the 4s comes before the 3d. We now need to add 20 electrons, remembering to start with the lowest subshell and add electrons singly to each orbital in a subshell before pairing up. Also making sure that when electrons are paired they have opposite spins. This is how we fill up the orbitals. We see the configuration for calcium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. One way to work out the filling order of subshells is to write out the subshells in a list in a triangular shape like this. You now have to fire arrows diagonally going down. The order in which the arrows strike the subshell gives you the order.